Hello and welcome to the Centre for Computing History. My name is Dan. And I'm Adrian. And uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, what it was like to load games from tape. Uh, so we often have schools come to visit us at the Centre for Computing History to a bit of a, uh, a lesson in computing history. And uh, one of the things we always talk about is uh, uh, games, usually. And um, we try and explain to them how you would load a game from a tape. And it would not be a rapid affair. It would take three, five, seven, eight, twelve minutes uh, to play one game, didn't it? The more kilobytes in size, the longer the tape. Mm -hmm. So you'd get lucky, you get quite a little basic game and it'd load quickly because obviously less data to send down the line, but sometimes you get something big and epic and it would take uh, ages. And it might even be a multi-load effort. Multi-load, yes. So you would load the basic program in first and then uh, fill the computer's memory up. Then when it's time to start level one, it would say, please press play on tape and you would then load that level. So after you played the first level, you mm -hmm. would then say press, press play on tape again, and you would then load the second level. <laughs> if you die, lose all your lives, you've then got to reload the uh, first level. I mean, I'm, I'm exhausted and bored just remembering tape loading. Like, yeah. and like you're trying to explain to the, the students who come in, like, you know, these, anything between like six to what, well, 16 year olds we get in. Uh, you try to explain them, you try to set the scene, like you say, okay, imagine taking your phone out of your pocket right now. I haven't got mine. Uh, you take your phone out of your pocket right now. Thanks. And like, you, 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 you say, go to the Facebook app, and you press the button. Now, imagine waiting five minutes for Facebook to actually go, oh, yeah. And like, you say it to them, and you can see their faces. They literally do not understand what you're saying. They literally cannot comprehend the idea of, an app isn't instantaneous. Like you have to wait for things. So that's partly what this video is about. Like this, 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 this did happen. We're not lying. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna no cuts, no edits. We're gonna load tapes, and it's gonna be in real time. Now, for better or for worse. Hey. First thing happened. What would happen back in the day? You go around your friend's house, yeah. and they go, "Oh, I want to play Kickstart 2. Ooh. and then you'd be going, "Oh no, actually, can't we play the Vindicator?" No. So the first 10 minutes of any discussion would be what on <laughs> earth we're actually going to load. Yeah, it will be. Um, and it's got to be good because you've wasted all that time yeah. sitting there watching it yeah. load. So uh, anyway, I'm going to overrule you on anything. Okay. And we are going to play the famous Kickstart we... 2. Great, sounds good. So this is by, or published by Mastertronic. Yeah. The purveyors of budget software. Quality budget software. So they were the great saviour of anyone who owned a computer and couldn't afford full price games. Um, so I'm going to hand that to you. So this is, this, children, this is called a cassette. And inside there is a room of magnetic tape which stores data uh, magnetically. We put it in the machine like this, you put the lid down on that, and hopefully, oh, it's already in place. Ooh, aren't we lucky? So you've got to rewind the tape all the way back to the beginning, and then we're going to load it into the computer. So with the Commodore 64, mm -hmm. one or two ways we can go load. You type it out, like and press caveman. return, and then press play on tape. I that or bit. we could have just done, well, I'll come on to that when we well, load another Well, don't spoil one. it. No, don't Oof. spoil it. No spoilers. And so here we are. We're now looking at a blank blue screen. Yeah, you look at this for a while. So stage one. So oh, well, I meant to say, like, um, I, I didn't grow up with a C64. Because my parents loved me, I had an Amstrad CPC. Uh, <laughs> what did you have? I had, stop laughing as you say it, I had <laughs> the greatness of the ZX Spectrum. It is a, well, I had one too, to be fair. That was the first thing, yeah. So... But we're all, whether it's Commodore 64, mm -hmm. a Spectrum, Amstrad, mm -hmm. BBC Micro, sure. we invariably would have loaded everything off of a tape. Yeah. Disk drives were sickeningly expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, the games would have cost about five pounds more. Mm -hmm. Now, what we've got on here, oh, I'll just interrupt Success. myself here. Searching found Kickstart 2. Excellent. That's, 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 that's our first hurdle done. First of three, four? First of three or four. And uh, yes, yeah, so now it's going to go back to a black screen again as so it. We go from blank screen, so you know, know what, you've got no idea what's happening. You get your first green light, like, oh, we found something on this tape. Then you go back to the blank screen, so you don't know what's going on. And now we've got our infamous loading bands. Yes, so. What's happening? Well, it's, yes, so it's just loading the first part of the program, which I believe will just put a picture up on the screen. Yes, now this is madness. Because by having a picture on the screen, you're extending your load time by about a minute. Mm. 
Absolutely. <laughs> but for the rest of the seven or eight minutes, you've got a nice picture to you look at. You can look at something really nice. Yeah. So, so and these have become famous pieces of art in their own right. Oh, absolutely. Good Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's extraordinary what the magic out of these machines. Um, yeah, because there are no limits. Like, you know, in a game, you have to limit your sprite size or sprite number, but on the, on the static loading screen, put whatever you want in there. It's amazing. Some very famous artists of the time. So uh, you've got Simon Butler, who did a lot of the Ocean Software ones, for instance. Yeah, very That's, funny um, man. Very funny man. So now oh. we have got our loading screen. Great. So that, that first minute of loading was purely to get this on your screen. So imagine you loading your Facebook app, you press Facebook, you get a black screen for a, a minute, and then the Facebook logo appears. Well, even then, even yeah. if your app is out of date and it needs to update. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not far from the, how it is now, really. But yeah. that's loading hundreds of megabytes. Yes. This is loading, and what, 48 kilobytes? Yeah. <laughs> And it's taken, and that probably takes a minute or two yeah. to update your app. Yeah. Whereas this, we're going to be looking at this for a fair long time. But it also, oh, so it did, it did uh, start to set the scene for the game, though. Right. I mean, these are vast. So stage one, you got the beautiful box art to get yeah. you, get you. Oh, this looks good. Oh, this is my cup of tea. This, and then tease you, they lead you in further with this, and then you get to the game, and it's oh, you know. And we know. With this one, we're going to be able to make our own game. Oh, yeah, it's got the construction, construction set. set. We can design our own courses. Yeah, you could. So, and then you'd have to save them to tape. Yeah, yes. And then are. you'd load the program in. And have to load your track. And load your track. And uh, now, what we should also mention with the big elephant in the room with tapes, and oh. that is go down to your local W. H. Smiths or wherever. Oh, boots buy, everywhere. Sold buy yourself a blank cassette. Oh! Then your mate brings <gasps> his cassette round to your house. Uh, it sounds like someone's condoning illegal and activities. Would, and then you would invariably copy his game. And, um, For shame. And then you'd have a C90 full of about 20 games, which is what the uh, tape counter became. Exactly, you had to write all down. 029, dizzy. Yeah. I like it. 056, yeah. short circuit. Short circuit, why not? It's amazing. Yeah. Also, it's funny, you said like, you know, when you get your mates around the first few minutes of discussing what game to play, is this also, that was also your time to show why your machine was best. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it? Like, you know, you got your mates in the room, like, oh, 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 my little scrub friend, come over with his, I don't know, his freaking Electron. And you're like, well, well, well Timmy, the orphan boy, have a look at Get Dexter. And they were like, oh, my God, I didn't know this was possible. So, in the 1980s, what we call the Playground Wars. So Vicious. Yeah. Basically, Vicious. you had um, sort of a, something short of gangs, really. <laughs> um, Roaming gangs, so, moving gangs. Like in my class, there was a group of five kids who all had Spectrums. So three or four had Commodore 64s. Yeah. One poor soul had an Electron. Oh. Um, the Amstrad was about a year away. Oh, you didn't know how good, so, how good it could be yet. Then so. there was one lad who was like oh i've got i've got a bbc micro where he got he didn't get a look in anywhere bless him but you know we're always like well your bbc micro is rubbish because it's only got 32 kilobytes of ram oh. and my spectrum's got 48 and all this rubbish and it actually means nothing because the bbc micro had so many custom chips yeah. in it that it didn't need 48k um and start I'm, going down boring technical routes but um all that guff just then made me think yeah. of pc master races yeah I just started tuning out, started yeah. you know, thinking about like, you know, all the cool games we can play, they can't. But, uh, um, yeah, 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 caring about that sort of thing. Imagine, good Lord. Well, what was so silly was that mm. one of the lads in our little Spectrum group, yeah. we didn't like him. That's fair. We didn't like him very much. He was a very cocky, annoying, right. horrible human being, but we'd still go around his house because he owned a Spectrum, even though he Reason used enough. to annoy the living daylights yeah. out of us. Yeah. So I then had a mate, yeah. Joe, Hello, Joe. Um, Hi, Joe. Probably never seen We him long dead. Literally decades or something. Oh. But he had a Commodore 64, but because he had a Commodore 64, I didn't go around his house very often. It's absolutely oh. crazy because you couldn't share the games. No, what was the point? So, um, well, that was one of the reasons. The other reason was because you treated them like they had rabies if you had a Commodore 64. It's um, still loading, by the way. 
So yeah, we're still we're still we've, loading. We've here. gone past the uh, the, the uh, loading screen stage. Now we're back at the. I think we had band. to clear the loading screens to get clear that memory. bit of memory back. <laughs> yeah, to get that bit of memory back. Here Mercy. All right. Oh, speak of the speak of the devil. Speak. Of the devil. We're up so now. Have we got, have we got sound? On we this? have got sound. Um, oh, we might not have sound. You might have sound in the game. It might not be. It might be. It might. I thought that played. See, it. some games mm. were so big you couldn't have the game and sound. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Like, try to explain to anyone, like, if you, wanted, if you wanted a good game, there's a good chance it wouldn't have any sound. Because you needed the, the, the available space that would have been occupied by sound. Sorry, we need that for graphics. When these, for machi yeah, when these machines were getting a bit old, about 91, 92, the Amiga and the ST had been uh. out. 16-bit machines, far more powerful than these. Been out for a long while. But they still tried to convert the games down mm. to the Commodore and the Spectrum. Yeah. And I remember one saying, it was a game called Hammer Fist. All right. And it basically said on there, it needs the full 128K, uh, but be warned. Uh, uh, it said, warning, there is no sound in this game. Oh, not, so, even, not even a little crash or a, no, a system beep. No, there is beep. absolutely dead silent. Wow. wow. So, um, so uh, it, have we connected up the joystick properly? Because this is the other annoying something thing happens. with the Commodore 64. It said player one in port one oh. in the, in the uh, thing. Yeah, so, so it's doing um, something. Oh, certainly. here we go. There you go. You loaded it, you play it. Oh. You hum it, I'll play it. Um, oh, I meant to do that. Um, and now so, it's just leave, it's going without me now, it doesn't need me anymore. Yeah. Oh, it's so, me. Yeah, yeah, it, it pushed back okay, after. That does jump. Okay, that's where you go. You push right to. Oh, you didn't wheelie. You didn't wheelie how do you at the wheel, right moment. Oh, you push like up to wheelie. Push up. Okay, we're going yeah. to go, go right. Oh, a bit stuck on that. Also, talking of games like this, forget your multifunction oh, you joysticks and joypads. No, all these fire buttons on this joystick do exactly the same thing. So, fire. If a load of games like a arcade conversion of same something like... What do you want me to do, game? Grisor or Contra. Yeah. Um, so you'd shoot with your joystick, and then if you want your character to jump, you had to hit the space bar. So, they're just not... I don't know, they're born nowadays. They don't. <laughs> So you got to get you got to get your speed up, mate. What does you, you're going to do? Yeah, but I go too fast. It makes you fall. Look at that, then. Oh, you went too fast. You fall over now. Yeah, I'll you, tell you what. I'll you, tell you what. You play it. I'll tell you what. We'll 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 have an expert play this. That's okay. right, Adrian. You help me. Here we go. Oh, look, it's going to put the. See, I've got over the finish line, mate. Oh, I'm so, rubbish. So let's try this again. Let's have a go. Go on, show me. Show us done. Jump. That's it. Oh, oh, good effort, A for effort. Jump, 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 jump. hop. I believe they're called bunny jump. hops. Oh, bloody. So it's actually, oh, oh I, I you see, see I didn't you did something the wrong that you, you didn't know yeah. you'd even done wrong. Oh, and then absolute. it spawns and also, you in to die. Yeah, oh, so I don't feel so basically bad I'm, on, I'm on top of a fence, so there's nothing I can do. Right. Um, this was a highly acclaimed game back in the... Another thing, of, kids, this was highly acclaimed. Yeah, so... Um, I mean, if you ever owned a Commodore 16, Sean Sorry. Southern, the gentleman who wrote this, saved your life because mm. um, you had very little to play on that machine other than his superb games. Like, this is where Kickstart started, was on uh. the Commodore 16. Right, now, so, what you would normally do is you would normally sit and grimly play yes, this. I was going to say. Because you've spent all that time waiting for it to load. You've committed so all you that time. So you were darn well going to play it. Because I was thinking... Oh, let's play something else. But I remembered we've got another eight minutes of staring at loading screens. Yeah. So I mean, this, this, this was so there was numerous things to keep you playing. One, the fact that you'd already trudged across town to buy this game and brought it home with you. Yeah. You'd already begged your parents for money or set up your pocket money. You've invested the time in loading the damn thing, and you're like, oh, this is rubbish. But you're like, I can't do anything about this. My hands are tied. Yeah. I've got to commit to this. And often, yes, you you wouldn't. You wouldn't get a magazine until the review of the games come out. I mean, they put review embargoes on games now, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um... Hang on a minute. You've changed cassette, but the I game's have. still running. The game's still running, yes. Witchcraft. It is. You can't it's not running Nintendo's. anymore now because I've turned it off. That's right. You've yeah. cleaned out our memory. See, it's all temporarily stored. So when it's gone from the tape, we don't need the tape anymore. It's stored uh, in memory on the machine. So we can get rid of it and load something else. So I typed load the first time, didn't you I? Did. I? You did. You did like a caveman. Yeah, so now, and also these Commodore data sets as well, they're pretty good, so they don't do anything until, oh, this one does. This one does. Um, 
So oh. shift, run, stop, and then it'll load. Shift, run, stop, loads. It's like yeah, pressing it, uh, control and enter, little yeah, end key on the abstract yeah. or something. Yeah, it's good times. So uh, smoke if you got them. Also, if you were to eventually get a disk drive for your Commodore, Oof. you would then be going load. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Inverted yeah. commas, start to In load whatever you find on it. Um, yeah. Comma eight, comma one, which basically means go and look at a different port to load your game. Wow. Go and look at the serial port. Wow. And um, if you don't, it will load from tape. Mm. So, so uh, uh, what are we loading here? We're loading Ghostbusters. The, uh, you know, Ghost, you know. Who are you going to call? We, how do we feel about Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters? Or we're not loading Ghostbusters? Yes, we are. Don't worry about okay. it. Now, this, you had different loaders. Yeah. So, Kickstart used the Commodore's basically or slow loader. Mm. This, I believe, is using a much, much faster loader. It looks like you've got very narrow uh, loading bands on there. Is so, that part of it? Yes, yeah, so that would actually take less time. So this should oh. load a lot quicker. Um, that... It Also, it's slightly less reliable. But here we go. So there's the first screen. Oh, good. We can play. So you have got... We can play Invaders while we're loading. Exactly. Oh this God. is why I picked this game. It's here, Invader Load. Now, it's funny it says on the screen here, just when you thought it was safe to make a cup of tea, that's it's another thing we did. Load. Yeah. You'd press load and press play. You'd go and make yourself a cup of tea, yeah. of biscuits, come back, and it'll still be uh, it'll still be loading. There but we you go. Know, you've killed five minutes of load time by making a cuppa. So again, this is a program in memory or part of the memory when you're trying to load something else. Later into copied the by a Ridge Racer. Um, oh wow. And then copyrighted by Ridge Racer yeah. by Namco, and we uh, we've got no sound. Why have we got no sound? I don't know. I can't tell you. We should have sound. So, um, so here we go. It's, uh, I'm not very sound. good at this. Okay. I'm fine without sound because it's probably quite annoying sound. So. That is actually why we want no sound. I don't know. So there you go. Have a go at All right. Invader Load. What a magnificent... But again, this is extended load time by about three minutes. And let's not forget, this game is pretty basic. Yeah, the, you know, the, the, the actual game, not the loading game game. Ghostbusters, it's not... Not mentally advanced, is it? Oh. Oh. oh! We have sound. We have sound. So when that said toggle sound, it was lying, wasn't it? Yes. Um, You're lying to me. All right. Okay. Um, so uh, this is pretty, it's, it's, this is a fairly infamous game. It's infamous on the spectrum for being rubbish. <laughs> but I, I think it's more of a case of like, yeah, whatever is that, but also like, it's not what people were expecting. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I've always quite enjoyed it. I had it in the Amstrad growing up. It's, it's, a, it's fun. It seems Commodore 64 owners love it. Yeah, yeah, apparently so. Um, Spectrum owners don't love it because it's actually really quite poor. It is in karaoke. Who are going to call? Who are going to call Ghostbusters? Busters. Do, 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 do. Activision, of course. Activision, yeah. Uh, um, David Crane, etc. And the gang. Yeah, yeah. Still the huge fight going on at the moment of will they... Oh, Won't they you've, be you've, sold to Microsoft? You've set us at a point in time. Yeah, I've set this a point oh, in time. Um, I understand this, this had troubled production and it was kind of rushed out the gate. We should we'll probably research further, but I think it wasn't as smooth sailing as everyone thought it was going to be to make a Ghostbusters game. Massive seller, though. Oh, good lord. And it's so really, anyway. It's pretty good. I like it. Anyway, yes, play so that was actually quite a quick load, comparative. That was that loaded quicker than um, Kickstart, I think. Yeah. It certainly felt like it did. It did. And that is the... Much, much faster. I can't remember if it's called Hyperload or Novaload or something. All right, okay. State um, your name last first. Uh, oh, it's you, it's you, is it? Yeah. And also your first and last name are both Mitchell. Yeah. Do you have an account? Yes. What is your account number? Um, Obviously, it's 666. Ah, oh, we've been... Uh, we've been uh, scammed out of our life savings now what we've got here is a form of copy protection is it so in your instructions <laughs> you say yes the game works if you in your instructions you will have a list of account numbers right so you have to match the name to the account what if we say no we haven't got an account it's um, i think it just goes no Oh, okay. okay I thought right. it was. I thought it was copy protection. Yeah, so I've just yeah. made myself look slightly foolish. No, no. Um, That's what it should have been. But right, yeah, it was acting them. like. We've got ten bags of sand. <laughs> what else are you going to have? You're going to have the ninety-six. You've got to, right? Hairs, by law. You? So. 
Yeah, press both up to view. No, go ahead too. Return. Oh, look at it. This isn't the most Ghostbusters game. When you think of other Ghostbusters games, like the Mega Drive one, or like the most recent one they had on like their PS3, Xbox, Wii, and then later on the Switch. They're Ghostbusters again. This one's... We've got the admin. We've got the admin here. Oh, what yeah, we, well, have... you know, it's a little bit of strategy here, you know. Um, I think you've, you don't need the marshmallow sensor yet, I don't think, because you're not going to meet him yet. Okay, I can't control man. my, 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 my um, forklift. Use joystick to control forklift. Um, we may be in the wrong port. Oh. This was the other thing. No one could agree some, on what the port no, was. Some programmers use port one, some use port two. There there we go. go. Right. Do we want an image in, we want, we want a PK energy yeah, stick, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Plonk that on your... Right. No, no, no. no. You press fire. There you go. There you go. Would you like an image intensifier yeah. at well? Let's have one of them. I mean, you could stick the marshmallow one on there. But... I think we should hang fire. I think that won't be too much. Okay, okay. Let's press E to end. E. Oh, right. maybe. Well, maybe you've actually Maybe we have to. to. Oh, my goodness. All right, there you go. Happy now. Oh, yeah, no, apparently isn't it? it's not. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, maybe we've got to look at other choices. Oh, we, we <sighs> require traps. So, oh, traps oh we, need, we need, yeah, yeah we need okay. bait as well. Yeah, we need ghost bait. How many traps are you on? You're going to call ghost bait. Let's have three traps. Three's a nice number, isn't it? Three oh, traps. And what's, your, what's your credit, though? Your credit's going I know, I am, I, am, I am burning through the funds. Yeah. This is the last of the petty cash. Yeah. You, you do need... Like you need ghost bait. All right. Bloody so, Peter Venkman. So. There we go. Oh, do we need a ghost vacuum? We do need a ghost vacuum, actually. I was overlooking that. That's there it. we go. Right might, now. Might get a couple more traps. Or a trap. You can never know. Oh, come on. I've got too many traps. We can't have any more. Oh, there's 600. That's why. Okay, sorry. I was being silly. Right, eat. Right, there is our ghost. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at the, the, the fun we're having. The fun we're having, kids. And now we get to drive an enormous Ecto-1. <laughs> like now don't forget to catch the ghosts. Look, there's a ghost yeah, nearby, look. You, you, you can see them 0. 0.0 seconds before you've driven past them. So, uh, oh, no, we've arrived, everyone, we've arrived. And there oh, he is. Oh, retro games, right, everyone. Plonk, plonk your trap down. Trap's down. Now you want him to go over here, don't you? Yeah. As far as you can. He goes there, and then uh, yeah. uh, the other guy, this is uh, Winston. Yeah. Uh, come on, come on, get, you've got to go in the middle. You've, you've, got, to, you've got to trap with your beams. There we go, we've got him. Except okay. he's, got, he's gone up a he bit has gone high. Up a bit, he has gone up a bit high. We'll get him, we'll get him, we'll get him then. Like the, so when you move this joystick right, the guy on the right moves in. When you do it left, no, the other way around. Yeah, it's the opposite of what I just said. And oh. what invariably tends to happen with this game oh, is he just cool. floats really Fro high. Oh. Up. Go, go. Gotcha. And now we can... Oh, I crossed the streams and we're dead. Ah. Oh. Do, 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 oh, Frank, do, thankfully do, your backpack shorted do, out in do, time. Do, Go back to do, DHQ. Do, do, do. Now, the big problem with that is I have a fair feeling that um, there may be penalties in short, and you could be left with no money. Ah, very, very, very quickly. I've let down NYC. Um, now, I'm looking But at all it. joking aside, I actually really like this game. I used to love this as a kid. Play the living heck out of it. Never finished it. Do, 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 do. And you, you press the button to suck up ghosts. I love the way the, the logo hasn't quite matched the, the car. There's a bit of a yeah, lag okay. between, oh, we've arrived. Yeah, okay. Let's put that there. Get him over oh, here. Of course, yes, because the, now the ghost comes and pesters your own HQ, I think, doesn't he? Oh, no, we, we've moved on. We've been, we've been back and we're, we're back, oh, in, back okay. in the mix now. Oh, we've replaced the fuses in our in our. Uh, I, lost that bit, I lost that bit of major excitement, obviously. You were, you were looking at something far more interesting. What yeah. were you looking at? Street Fighters? Yeah, Street Fighter. So we're going to actually play Commodore 64 Street Fighter. Can we not? Um, no, because we want to play that for a very good reason. Um. Hey! Boom! Shaka laka 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 laka. Is it the shoes? Speech. Actual speech in games. That would have blown your mind as a youngster. Uh, that's good. That's Ghostbusters. Let's okay. do one more. Do one more. Yeah, let's do let's one more. Let's choose wisely. It's our, you notice our, our, uh, our copy of Ghostbusters has suffered slightly over the years. Well, it's a handling one, so we're it, not... This is a... I mean, I think I pulled it out of a bin. We're not... Um, we're using it to prop up a desk. We're not too upset not about too what fast. kind of state it's in. We get to use it. It loads. Can I just say, I just hear that tape. That is not flying backwards. 
I've got to say, I am curiously excited about playing Street Fighter. Don't be too excited. <laughs> um, I, I picked that out so of the bin ev- because ev- it has a lo- long load, right? Apparently. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Anyway, Everyone sorry. knows Street Fighter 2, obviously. Yeah, it's great. Um, who remembers Street Fighter? Literally no one. So in the early iterations, you actually had to punch the yeah. arcade machine. Yeah, that was touch sensitive, wasn't it? Yeah. And so it didn't work for Toffee. But, uh, I'll press play, shall I? Oh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you do something there? Now, this is at the time. Look, we're getting yeah. towards the end of... It's been a long day. Well, it's getting towards the end of the Commodore 64's life. So, um, Good. you know, you've, you've, after all these games we've played over the last six or seven years, yeah. we've lost the will to talk to each other. So nowadays, you don't, <laughs> you don't talk to each other because yeah. of these things. Like, I'd, I'd normally be messaging Dan to talk to him, even though he's right next to me. Yeah. Um, so back in the 1980s, you, this is where these came in. These were your magazines. Tell you all about the latest yeah. games. So, children, before there was the internet, we had physical things to tell us about things. Like, this is how we learnt about things. Did we magazines. have mobile phones? No. no. And life was better. <clears throat> um, but this is, uh, uh, this is, this is the Zap 64. I didn't read this. I read Amsterdam Action. Amsterdam Action is a very strange magazine. Did you not have Antics? No, because mm. I remember Amsterdam Action being all about games and being really colourful and creative. But looking back now, they're actually quite dull. Mm. Um, yeah. It's weird. But so yeah, I would of course read the seminal Crash magazine, being a Spectrum person. Ah, that's pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, this is another way you would have entertained yourselves while the interminable loading went on. Where are we at? Where, where, where are we now? Um, okay, we've gone back to the second uh, blank screen. I've gone back to the loading bars. Um, also, can I show you something else really brilliant yeah, yeah, here? Got... You, want, you want to um, own the latest games. Yeah, yeah, you right, do. So Obviously, you'd be ahead of the, the losers. You go down to your local shop. They yeah. haven't got the copy of your, local, of oh, your, of your game. Rubbish. So. What you can do, yeah. you can use your telephone Blimey. to phone up this company and go, I want this game, please. <laughs> can we point out that though? You'd call someone up, give them your credit card details. Not and even that. Assume the best. <laughs> not even that. Yeah. You wouldn't have a credit card. Well, we no, do. Well, maybe not, we, yeah. Or even a debit card. We'd have written a check, popped it in an envelope and posted True. it. And then a little while later, Hopefully, hot luck of Royal <laughs> Mail is whether your game would actually turn up at your house or not. Um, oh, also, have they got like pen pals and stuff in there? Because some magazines you could advertise for pen pals, so you oh, could yeah. write into a magazine giving your full name and address, which they would publish in a magazine for the world to see. Like, yes, I'm, I'm fine with people knowing where I lay my head at night. Yeah, absolutely. Fine, yeah. Now, here we've got Score Lord. I've got not an scoreboard. Oh, that's not... oh, I get score you. Lord. Oh, and this are. is where a load of people lie right. about what score they've got in a game. <laughs> and Do they have to send there. any sort of photographic evidence, or just um, went? No, oh. they don't. There was one. There was one kid just used to put completed it. Completed. Completely completed. Three D Star Tri- Star Strike on the Spectrum in Crash completed it. Of course. You don't because it just keeps looping and looping and getting harder and harder. No, either until though. Until you die. Look at that Ooh, for a loading screen. Now you're talking. Look at this. Yeah. Cap- I like the way that the company name is bigger than the actual name of the game. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's what they're we're proud all of their about. company. Oh, we've got uh, Speedball. Speedball 2. Here's nice. another one nice. Premier Mail Order. Mm. And look, Zap have obviously used them because they've given it their oh, Sizzler yeah, they've, they've, Award. They've got endorsement there. For service. Probably paid for. What do you reckon? Maybe. Yeah. i tell you what, apparently, if you're playing Golden Axe and if you're playing a one player game and you're about to die, just plug another joystick in the other port, yeah. press fire, um, and maybe player two. I think I might have aged this. Wow. Tip, tips out for I don't understand. I don't understand. Because he does tips to how yeah. to play the game better. And he needs, so, to, he needs to get your tips out, out so he can read them and show them in the magazine. The lads. That's yeah. the issue. So, um. Did ye hoy tabs at my mooter like? Oh, what weird, what weird parlance is that? Wow. Wow. He's looking far too pleased with himself because Isn't basically he's punching. Even though it can't see it, punching. He's very punching. Above his weight, really, oh, oh, has something happened? Go, it has. Great. So there you go. You can put your magazine down now. Yeah. Or your copy of War and Peace. Um, trouble is then, what you'd actually do is you'd get involved in your magazine. Yeah. So you'd sit here going, 
like it's the games playing away in the background. You're yeah. just like, um, yeah, yeah, that's a great game. Ar Archipelagos. <laughs> or a word, just like it. Mm. <laughs> it's a good strategy game. Um, right now, come on, show us how it's done. Um, oh, we've got a demo. Is there a demo? Um, oh no, it's, it's loading. It's still loading. It's loading the next bit. I so actually, that was loading the uh, the main menu. Now I made a bit of a mistake there because I should have put the joystick in that menu. Then it clears but keeps the joystick command. Does that mean we've got to try and play this game with it using keys? Yeah, it might well. And it'll be it something like well Q do. W, might well do. M K and like equals. Also, that's another thing. There was no uniform. There wasn't an agreed way of controlling games. Was there? So mm. people just like, oh, we're going to use it with Q A O P. Also, you know you've got these wonderful things nowadays where you are playing a game you can't get anywhere uh -huh. so you put a cheat cd into your machine oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. action replay and uh, like it, yeah, yeah. action replay so they did have cartridges like that here's, yeah. here's one for the commodore 64 the action replay oh, yeah nice but failing that what you could do is you type this program in before you load your game <laughs> and then that in this case for super hang on by electric dreams um that's a great game that's a proper game that. so what does it do it's it made your bike fly. I think it just. It, oh yeah, you don't. Yes, you do not actually ever yeah. crash. So you, so, just, you just coded out collision crazy. detection there. I was actually talking over that then because I was convinced that it crashed. <laughs> but, um, that's fine. But it hadn't. Um, so and that's go. another thing. So yeah, I mean, we're sitting here waiting three, five, eight, twenty-five minutes to get the load, and there's no guarantee at the end of that time it's even going to work. Nah, absolutely not. So. I mean, it's a fairly reliable, the data's fairly reliable, um, but other things, if you had to use a general a common or garden uh, household tape recorder, you were at the mercy of all sorts of variables. Now, Hello. Oh. we also have the compilation tape. Yeah. So for awesome. the price of one game, you get all of these. Got, but what they'd do is you'd have four or five that were really, really good. Yeah, and some dog eggs. And some in. right old rubbish in there. That one, though, was pretty straight across the board, kind of. Hmm. Yeah, that's not but, a bad selection, that. Right, so here right. we go again. Look, we've got involved in this now. So, yeah, right. Um, we've got uh, player one. Oh, what's something? Put that to one side. Oh, I did something. Right, now, what might happen here is it might start loading again. What is it, what is it loading that little animation of those two men fighting? Yeah. It's gone to a black screen. It's made me very nervous. I think it's picked a, I think it's actually picked uh -huh. a character. Okay. Now it's got to load that level in. So this is what it got like as games became a lot, lot bigger. Uh, the multi loads got more and more complicated. Do do children still play Flappy Bird? I'm out of touch. Do children still play the Flappy Bird game? I don't know. Do they still play the Roblox? I don't know. Probably not. Imagine taking your Flappy Bird out. Well, careful. And you've got to load it. Not over a period of multiple minutes and constantly reminding it that you're waiting for it to load. <laughs> Amazing. This isn't doing anything. Uh, don't be too, don't be too. <laughs> See, but that's one of the reasons. So one of the reasons why you had those flicky flacky uh, lines on the screen is to tell you that, don't worry, stuff is happening. Currently, we're looking at a big black screen. Well, as you can see, we're looking at a big black screen and uh, absolutely nothing's happening. All right, okay. Uh, press play on the cassette recorder. Once game has loaded off of side one. Oh, you've got to press stop, right? Turn over cassette to side two and press rewind. Press play and leave play key depressed. Um, I'm depressed is, is, is right. So are we at the end of... <laughs> I don't know what we are. Have we got, I Good. think we might have to do what it says. Rewind. This then, um, is barbaric. So, uh, How are people nostalgic for this? Miserable. Because people use things like um, yeah. interfaces that instantly right. load. I mean, yeah, we can still do it. And then they just stuff, go, but... oh, this game's absolutely brilliant, but they haven't had the The agonising eight-minute load time. I, thi I think that might have been working. I think we might have stopped this now. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching. Let's, let's, just see, let's just see if it Check does out anything. our... Uh... Hmm. If it doesn't do anything, let's just get, let's have a little look through the rest of this magazine. Um, uh, software hits. See, that was it. Archipelagos. 90. 90. It sounds like a good game. Yeah. The, these scores are, generally speaking, quite generous. I wouldn't give Blood Money 94. Speedball 2 got 96. Mm. That is correct. Millennium 22. 
That's a bit rude. And, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, so Euro, the Euromax joysticks, nice. Okay. I'm starting to think that. Um, oh, look! There's a there's the uh, the uh, Batman, the Cape Crusader budget re-release, two thousand ninety nine. Two ninety nine, and they've given it. No, uh, eighty nine. Mm. Would they have altered their score based on it being a budget re-release? Because presumably the first release would have had a, a review oh well. Yeah, and probably 94 or something like that. Right and then on. they'll go, right, well, I'm now only going to give it 70%. So it's a bit. So, well, do you know what? It looks genuinely like we're not going to get to play Street Fighter. And My this... disappointment is immeasurable. So um, I do wish now we'd pick Nightmare, <laughs> which was based on a very famous TV, children's oh, TV program what. at the time. If you watch us on YouTube, if you're our patrons, we're going to play some night Nightmare, just for our patrons. Uh, okay. All right, so YouTube, uh, thanks very much for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Mash that subscribe button. And consider joining our Patreon, where you can watch us load Nightmare, play it for about three minutes, and then get bored of it, and then end the video. Okay. Well, so if you want that, Head over to Patreon and uh, Computing History. Links in the description down below. Um, yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? That will be good. So yeah. and there's loads of other stuff. Like we make these videos, and it's not always good. Not like this solid gold. Sometimes the stuff we make is really bad. And what we do is we wrap it up and we put it on Patreon as like a little bonus thing for you. You didn't have I, that. I put one of you that I didn't tell you about. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when we made the Atari video? Yeah. And you're like, oh, Dan, this is so sexy. Do <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> That's on our Patreon right now. Brilliant. They're loving it. So if you want to see that and other little bits that we don't show on YouTube because, you know, we probably shouldn't, uh, head over to our Patreon. Oh, Dan, this is so sexy. Oh, Dan, this is yeah. so sexy. <laughs> right. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Yeah. We'll but if, if you're on Patreon, don't turn off because we're going to be going on a minute. So, or we might do it separately, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, sorry, yeah, you, you do your closing spiel. So, yes, uh, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you soon.